So it's gone through the first couple of steps. It's done the Google search already. It's scrolling down. It's finding the first organic links, I think. Anthropic just released a couple of very exciting updates. Obviously, Claude Sonnet 3.5, the new Claude Sonnet. I feel like they could have called it 3.6 at least, but anyway. Uh, Claude 3.5 Haiku, but more importantly, we have the computer use available in the API. And that is what I'll be testing today because for me, that is the most exciting thing. This is like agents, AI agents doing the work for you. So <laughs> let's just wait for the massive layoff of jobs in a couple of months now that this is actually out and it's extremely easy to use. I've set up the environment already. Um, if you want me to do a whole tutorial on how to set this up using Docker, it's pretty easy. I know it can be a bit uh, scary, but they set you up with a little environment with a couple applications to use as if it were your desktop. We're going to do some SEO work for us. We're going to get it to research, uh, type into Google the the keyword, uh, where are the best places to travel in the Patagonia in Chile, and then uh, let's say click through the first three organic results and write down the key themes in a notepad so we can read it. Okay, so straight off the bat, we're going to actually test it with a pretty complex task, considering this is the demo version. So we're going to say, go to Firefox and do a Google search for the best places to travel in the Patagonia. I want you to click on the first three organic links and copy their information. Then I want you to analyze the main key themes of each organic result that you saved and tell me why they are ranking well and what blog I could write about that will add value to the reader about this topic taking into consideration the three organic top results you found. That's pretty complex and maybe I'm pushing this a little bit too much, but hey, that's what this is about. And you can see that it's starting to do a couple of things. Uh, it kind of takes screenshots of every step that it needs to do, but let's see it run. <laughs> so opening Firefox, good. Okay, it's typing. So hands-free, I'm not doing anything here, I'm drinking my tea. So it's gone through the first couple of steps, it's done the Google search already. It's scrolling down, it's finding the first organic links, I think. <laughs> This is insane. So it's gone to the first link as well. Let's see how it handles this. Cool, it's going back to another one. So it must have saved already the components of, or the contents of that link. <laughs> Yo, that is nuts. Oh, it's got to pop up. Let's see if it's going to handle that. Cool. Okay. It's continue doing. We just have to help it with a pop up. That's all right. <laughs> so it's going through exactly what I asked it to do. I think the main thing to keep in mind here that this is like not even version one, this is the beta version that they're releasing. Um, wow. Okay, so it's done everything. Let's take a look here. After analyzing the top three organic search results for the best places to travel in the Patagonia, here's my analysis. Key themes, travel plus leisure, how to travel to Patagonia, focus on practical travel logistics, cover gateway cities and transportation, emphasize on seasonal timings and visits written by an established travel authority. Interesting. So it's, man, understanding the concept really well that we're trying to do because the travel authority is a, is a good component that you'd have to do, falls under the EEAT guidelines, experience, expertise, authority, and trustworthiness. This is kind of nuts. Updated recently, September 2023, Swoop Patagonia, the Patagonia Chilean guy specializes in regional expertise. So it tells you why they all starting to rank really well. One, two, three, and four. <laughs> why these articles rank well. Freshness, all articles are recently updated. Comprehensive coverage, each offers detailed in depth information. Expert authority, written by well-established travelers. Really important there. User intent and match, provides both practical and inspirational content. Structured, well-organized. 
blog recommendation. <laughs> Let's see. Based on the analysis, here are some unique blog topics that would add value. The hidden gems of Patagonia, the off-beaten path locations that most tourists miss. That's really good. And it's telling us that this would this would fill the gap in a current content which mostly focuses on popular destinations. That's a great idea. Um, oh man, I'm my mind's blown at the moment, including lesser locations, uh, provide insider tips from locals. Let's see, number two, Patagonia through the seasons, a month by month guide to perfect visit. More detail than the existing seasonal coverage, including specific activities for each month, weather patterns and what to expect, festival and cultural calendars. That's that's really good. I wouldn't have thought of that. Wildlife viewing opportunities. Uh, budget versus luxury. Oh, man. And then, so it gives me four great ideas. Honestly, they're really good. These topics could add value because they offer more specialized information, address specific locations. Wow. I mean, that would take someone, a person, I don't know, maybe an hour or two to do, depending on how good you are at this stuff. And I just did it while I was sipping uh, a tea. This is kind of amazing, um, to be honest. I'm a little bit mind blown at the capabilities that this can do. Now, it's a kind of local environment. You have to download Docker to do it, which is really easy. And then, you know, they've got these set parameters that you can kind of uh, control things with. That being considered, um, that is pretty amazing. You can kind of set this running on the side while you're doing something else. Uh, these agents are just the start. And I think it's extremely important for you to learn how to use these things. Um, because imagine now an employee with an API key essentially is going to have the power of 10 employees or however much you can use that API key for. Um, already, I came up with an incredible idea on what to write about to rank really well. And it's already told me that one of the main reasons why they're ranking really well, though, which is really important and really good to know that it's just written by established authority. So then we probably need to get our authority if we want to rank for something like that. Um, the reason why this is exciting because phew, for a lot of things, to be honest, I'm a little bit mind blown here. Yeah, um, again, you can read the rest of the things out. So the other updates from Anthropic was the new uh, Claude 3.5 Sonnet. Um, it's so good, in fact, that I was able to code in an afternoon this little plugin, um, which is a prompt saver plugin, and I can add folders upon folders of plugin, of, uh, sorry, this little plugin that is a prompt saver because I use Claude, Gemini, and Sonnet, but I'd like to use a similar prompt across everything. For example, I've got a meta description generator, title tag generator, FAQ post generator. So if I press it, it copies it to my clipboard and then I'll show you what that looks like. See, so it's already copied and it's pasted there already. So just like it helps me um, move a little bit quicker. My point to show you that is that I spent maybe 45 minutes last night creating that plugin and that's it. And it's just understood everything so much better. So. It's an interesting time to be in the AI space because it feels like there's no rest and there's a new technology coming out left, right, and center every week. And I can bet you that ChatGPT, OpenAI are going to have a retaliation to this or an update to this. So really exciting stuff. If you want me to do a whole tutorial on how you can install it using Docker and how to run it like I just did, just let me know in the comments below and I'll get started on that right away. But incredible. Um, I'm mind blown by these capabilities. And I think this is... If you haven't, if you're not using AI tools to the full advantage and you are a bit afraid of them or you don't want to delve into it, this is your wake up call that you need to learn how to use these tools. Otherwise, you'd probably be out of a job soon because I just did, I don't know, an hour's worth of job for a beginner, let's say an entry level SEO, special SEO researcher. And I just did that in, you know, a couple of minutes while I was sipping my tea. Learn how to use these tools. And if you want to learn how to use these tools, I recommend you join our community, the AI Ranking Hub. Uh, there's a free community and a paid community as well. Um, so this is where we do all those in-depth tutorials and you can ask us questions. We bring in professionals as well to give us more explanations. So if you want to feel like you um, are in a community of like-minded people, suggest you kind of join that. I'll leave that in the link in the description below. But yeah, let me know your thoughts. How would you use this? And again, let me know if you want a full-length tutorial on how to set this up. Cheers, I'll catch you in the next one.